13 inch MacBook Air Model A1369. LCD screen assembly replacement. This applies to year 2010 and 2011. Make sure that the Mac is completely shut down. Close the lid, flip it over. We'll be removing the 10 screws that are securing the back panel to the unit. We're going to need a proprietary Apple's star-shaped pentalope screwdriver bit. Starting in the top left corner, remove the small screw first. Now, the next two screws in the center up top are slightly longer than the rest of the screws. Just keep an eye on them. Once you remove them, set them aside and remove the remaining eight screws. With the screws out of the way, go ahead and gently lift up on the back panel and move it out of the way. Locate the battery connection, lift it by its tab and wiggle it left to right as you pull on it. The screen is secured with two hinges. Each hinge has three T8 screws holding it down. Begin by disconnecting the eyesight cable from the input output board. That will expose the screws. Now go ahead and flip the latch that's guarding the LVDS cable and pull it out and that will expose the other three T8 screws. We can partially open the MacBook and stand it up like you see here. And now we can go ahead and remove two of the T8 screws from the right hinge and then two T8 screws from the left hinge. The reason why we're only removing two is we don't want it to fall apart as we're working on it. Now you can remove the one on the left and one on the right while you're holding down the computer. As it separates, you'll find out that you still have one cable connected, okay, and that's your Bluetooth cable. This unit has had a screen replacement, so it will not have any of the guards that usually tape up and guard the cable, but you might have to cut some of the guards out of the way to remove the screen on a new Mac. Reassembly. Make sure none of the cables track, realign it, and place back one T8 screw and secure it on the left side first. Now go ahead and do that on the right side. Now you can place back the rest of the screws. Plug in that EyeSight camera. Make sure to tug that in. Now trace out the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna cables and tuck it in underneath the heatsink. This is the part where we earlier had to cut the um, ribbons that were guarding it. Just tuck it in. It doesn't need to be secured in any other way other than just tucked in. Just trace it all the way out and then uh, clip it around that little spot and plug it into the card. Now go ahead and put back the LVDS connection and the two T8 screws and we're all set, we can go ahead and just clamp up the unit, we're done. Gently reinsert the battery back into its socket on the logic board. Make sure it's firmly in. Place the cover back and secure the cover with the 10 screws. Put in the two longer screws and the top middle first, and then you can screw in the remaining eight screws that are shorter. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it very helpful.